I wanted to make a short video on how to, how your governor linkage is hooked up and how to set your governor. First of all, you got to know what you're working on. The number on a Tecumseh engine is stamped across here. It's stamped into the metal. If it's rusted, you can sand it a little bit to see the number. It might be under your starter button, but all Tecumseh's, these old Tecumseh's, the number is there, no exceptions, it's there. This is an O. H S K 120 overhead valve horizontal shaft snow king here's your linkage setup this rod is hooked into that hole on your carburetor runs down and hooks to a lever under here, the back hole and this lever. Your spring goes to this lever and hooks there. That's your low speed idle screw. This rod hooks, there's only one hole, that goes to your throttle. And that is hooked in the second hole up. To set your governor you have to put your lever at full throttle on all Tecumseh engines. I'll turn this around in the light so you can see it. This is the lever that your rod from your carburetor and your spring hooks to. Rod on the inside, spring on the outside. Over here, this is your governor. There's a pin that goes down through your sump cover here inside with a lever on it. That's the easiest way to explain it. That pin has to be turned so that that lever inside is up against your governor. This is just a clamp on the pin, this screw. You don't touch that. You need to turn this pin. Put your throttle on full, don't forget that, and loosen this screw. When you got that screw loose, you turn this counterclockwise and hold it as far as it'll go. It'll only gonna turn a little, little bit Turn it counterclockwise and hold it with your throttle on full and tighten that screw back up. That's all there is to it. You don't line this stuff up or any of that bowl. You have to turn that pin the right way. Snow blower engines, the L heads, not the overhead cam, but the ordinary snow blower engine, they turn clockwise. But this particular engine, an OVXL120, Extra Lifes, they also turn counterclockwise. So just loosen that screw, turn your cl clamp and pin counterclockwise, hold it, and tighten the screw. Your governor is set. That's all there is to it. I just wanted to explain that. I hope that this linkage set up might help you if you happen to have had it off and can't get it back on but this governor is very important because your engine will rev over rev and you haven't got much time before you got no engine so counterclockwise tighten it up